Israel has reversed the COVID trend. New infections are far below new recoveries, and the country is poised to fully reopen. One contributor, incredibly high virus testing rates. At roughly 500,000 tests done in a population of 8.8 .8 million, Israel has one of the highest test rates in the world. This lab led the Israeli effort. High Labs in Rehovo, south of Tel Aviv, was processing 85% of Israel's virus testing at the beginning of the pandemic. Even though competitors have caught up, it still holds roughly half the market. How did High Labs see so much market share? No government contract here, a combination of luck and timing. It had just finished a two-year automation process, opening its network of labs when the pandemic hit. We prepared ourselves in advance with everything we will need in Israel, not only for COVID, uh, for six months at least. This was the Ministry of Health uh, requirement, by the way. So first of all, part of it was used for COVID. Not that there were no challenges. An early run on testing reagents, kits, and other pandemic response tools created a global shortage. But that was another thing Israel had planned for. You have all the money you want, but you cannot get the, the, the stuff. Plastic, chemicals, enzymes, everything. You always under the assumption that you're missing, you, you are going to miss something or everything. But this lab isn't just testing. It's also working on developing COVID cures as well. After five days of incubation, the stainless steel with the coated uh, antiviral elements will eliminate the influence of the virus on the host cells. We have here special compounds that we believe can be a good candidate for uh, curing a uh, coronavirus. Uh, we already proved its anti-inflammatory activity, and now we are focusing on the antiviral activity. So a combination of wartime planning and Israel's startup culture meant that a small country was able to weather the pandemic. And that same mentality is bringing the research to fight back against it.